We are here. We are here. Good. <coughs> hey, good evening. Hope you know English. Hello, English. Lunale, mi rumiole mare. I want to talk about scary faith. Dine, no. Chau siya kau ne yung jijin su de chang piu ma pi ba. Scary faith. No. Chau yong tong lu pu kau ne yung jijin. What does that really mean? Tge de be su lu da ka ba le. Taking risk. No. Ah, sun sa mu go yujin. Yeah. Uh, sometimes God calls us to do things that there's a danger potentially out there. No. And if you think through what God is saying, you'll back, you'll back out. No. Scary faith. No. In Romans 16. 3, 4. Paul talks about two co-workers. And he said they risk their life for me. And he said they risk their life for me. Now Paul was no born again chicken. No. Yeah, the guy was bold as a lion. But some, sometimes he got in hot situation. And so these two saints are uh, scary faith. Yeah, one day I'm driving my motorcycle with my wife in Cambodia. I'm on a main street. And I saw a crowd of people. And as I slowed down, my wife said, speed up. She didn't have scary faith at that moment. No, I didn't take my heart to Mama. Probably had some scary fear. So what was happening was this. Uh, a young boy, 14. Had no shirt, no shoes, just shorts. No shirt, no shoes. Uh, and he tried, uh, uh, he tried to unsuccessfully steal a motorcycle. He had no weapon. Uh, just a kid from the village. So at that time in Cambodia, if someone tries to steal a motorcycle, a crowd will kill you. And I had just read in the newspaper the previous week about something like this. And then after they killed the boy, they burned him. So this boy had handcuffs. And security was, had called the police. Let him Let him Yeah, yeah. So yeah. two, uh, two Cambodian men strong. They start to beat him. And when he, he fell to the ground, they start kicking him in the head. What did I do? I jumped in the middle. And I took authority over the devil out loud. No, uh, These guys are not afraid of me, that's for sure. But I'm not afraid of them. And my God's greater. So when I started speaking in tongues on the sidewalk. And these guys both backed off, backed off. Here come the police. Happy days. My, said, my wife said, what did you, you do that for? I said, I'm a Christian. That's what, that's what Christians do. So, when you, uh, so I praise the Lord. That like Peter, I jumped on the water a little bit. When God gives you scary faith, 
Often you don't have time to think it through before you act. Or it doesn't make sense up here in the beginning. Taking risk. Again, God is the one that authors that stuff. He gives us something in our heart. This type of faith often takes place outside the church meeting. You know, God always likes to advertise himself outside the church. And so he was advertising himself in Acts 5, verse 12. ตะมันดองงาคันอคันแกเซเนมาพยากาตุกุตุลูจาได้มาดีโลติตะทินชาสีเดตะมันดองงาเซเนตะมันดอโรดีแลลูมยาชิมาเนเมเลคนาอ่
Malaria. Oh, ngapia, ngapia, ngapia ni kalau ya, cici cepi ni ya. Malaria. Masih dah jalan lebih kan? Dah. Malaria ni. Sorry. Malaria. Okay. We got, we got something there. Not. Hello. Even the doctors had malaria. But in 10 years of working there, it never happened to us. I still have both legs, both hands. Hallelujah. The only reason I'm there is because God authored it. And uh, many people came to know the Lord. I could stay in California. I could be part of a good church. I could, I could even pastor a church. Sorry, not me. God, God, God said there's better fruit in Asia. Let's look at 2 Corinthians. Chapter 1, 8 and 9. นี่ก็คันจิตเตอเงเชเนโกญีโกโรอาชิปีไนงาโดขันยาดอเซียนเยจินตีหูดออะเตมะลุ่นไนหูทินยะยุยมะคันไนออนอะไตนแท่อลอ
So if I was in that boat, I'd say, man, if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I can preach as good as Peter. Come on, I can do it. Folks, it's, it's our turn. So more actively in aggressive faith. Sometimes risk taking involves going somewhere you have not been before. Either a location or something in the spirit of the Lord. And, and, uh, and, and so the thought will come sometime. What if I do this and it, and it doesn't work? What if you do it and it does work? Faith is going with number two. Faith is going with number two. No. Faith is going with the second choice. No. When I was pastoring a small church in California, California, I, I probably wasn't a great pastor. I used my position sometimes to force the church to do stuff. So I said in the pulpit, on Friday nights, we are going to go and evangelize this, this small city. And you have to go unless you have a medical problem. So they got real excited about that. That's not in your Bible, actually. <laughs> but I had, I, I had a zeal. And so that city had a lot of uh, strange people. So we uh, got people in the cars. And uh, I said, we're going to pray in tongues all the way to that city. It takes an hour. And this one uh, lady, she got in my car. And she said, uh, can I be on your team? I said, yeah, you, her and you will be on team three of us. I said to her, all you got to do is watch me. Just watch. And you can pray. So she liked that. And so uh, I said, Linda, would you like to say something to this guy? Nope. Nope. I'm just praying for you. So the next time we went, I said uh, hello to the stranger. Who had punk rocker hair. And this, this, this lady's 45 years old. This is how she is. I said, my friend here, Linda, would like to talk to you. She'd like, to, she'd like to share with you what Jesus has done in her life. If she had a gun, she would have shot me. So she, got, she kind of stumbled through it. She said, why'd you do that? To push you out of the boat, man. Two weeks later, she says, I want my own team. Today she's a pastor's wife. Hot shot church, hot church. Scary faith. Risk taking. You know, Sometimes you're going to make a mistake, don't worry about it. Some of us know the story of Jonathan and the armor bearer. And so in that, in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 14, carrying that stuff, 14, 8 through 10. I think they got it up here. Selection, I need to say. And I hope you. 
ตัวมะหุลาจ่าหุโซเลยตัวจ่ามีชาวราพยาดีตูโรโกงาโรเล็ดโตอัดดอมุอีโทโซตอปုံปะนเมชิยาอีหุโซดีเนี่ยอีต
To stop walking by faith. No. Is to simply stop taking risk. You know, you and I can be in full time ministry. And we have stopped taking risk. ไอ้สิ่งที่ตัวไปโพสิชั่นแล้วฉีดตัวไปโกลัวไม่หาดีเนี่ยมีดังงานเนี่ยมีดาลามาดีเนี่ยดาเม้นเนี่ยมีดัง
No peyarika, tambe tuare peyarika. Oh, lunch or tuare sorang kami tiba. But I hear the word of my spirit. Peyarika nuk berdogo, nelo nari macare. Be born again, again. No pian biro ma, tete pan mui pajen, mui pajen si ba. The word born again in the Bible actually means to be born again, again. No, jenero ni tete pan mui pajen gulu ba. It doesn't mean that you need to be saved again. Uh, I believe God has got some breakthrough stuff coming, son. God says, fear not. Take back what the enemy has ripped off. I've called you to become a, be a man of faith. Though you're weak in some ways right now, Strength will come in the morning. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day, but strength will come in the morning. God is about to break something off of you. New days are coming, says the Lord. Have faith in me. This guy, the white shirt. An evangelist. No, you Jesus. An evangelist in the making. No, you I've called you to to minister to lost people. No, the Educated people. No, the Successful people. And those that could be described as opposite. No, The Lord has given you both the heart of a shepherd and the heart of an evangel. I see God giving you compassion for people. Especially young people. And God is going to send some, He's going to create some situations about you. Where, where you're going to be confronted with having to walk in faith. And you're going to rise up to all the potential that you have in God. Yeah, a little bit like the, the basketball player, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, no, basketball, he's, he's, going to, he's going to give you some spiritual skills to be a blessing to the kingdom. Uh, you're a good man. God has called you to be a God man. A son of God man. Uh, from this day forward, a new authority is coming into your life. Not emotionalism, not hype, a new authority. And you're going to become very word of God friendly with your Bible. Yeah, things are coming, son. Have faith in me. Scary faith. This brother is standing right here on the edge. Yeah, you were, you were called as a child. Yeah, you were called as a child. I don't know who prayed for you, mama, dad, something like that. God said there's a preacher in you from the bottom of your toes to the top of your head. Uh, you're a living, breathing preacher. Uh, there's been some frustrations. Some doors haven't opened the way they could have or should have, it seems. Uh, but God says new doors are coming. Some real doors are coming. And you're going to rise up and be all that God has called you to be. You're going to be a no compromise, no nonsense kind of guy. Real compassion, the love of God, but you're going to preach with fire. F-I-R-E, not emotionalism, fire. And God says there's healing in your hands, son. There's healing in your hands, especially healing in your hands for the lost. You've got, a, you've got faith outside the house and you've got faith in. Thus saith the Lord, this stuff will come to pass in some soon, soon, says the Lord. Amen. 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 Risk taking. Yeah, we'll be through 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Back to Nepal. I'm giving illustrations because it, it proves the faith. There's a war going on. There's a war. Yeah, the, the control tower of the airport is gone. Boom. And the mountains are like this. So we're in this small plane trying to pray that the thing doesn't crack. As there's a war between Maoists and the others. And so lots, lots of things were happening. 
one night it seemed that me and my wife would be raped or shot or something like that. But the devil got defeated, no problem. To return back, uh, we, needed our, we needed our plane. But because of bad weather, the, no, nothing could fly. So when we got up this mountain, and airport, airports there. There's no planes. No control. Just a bunch of goats all over the place. So my 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 co-worker there. He, he said, there's no planes coming in today. So we, we might as well go back. I said, I, I, I have to fly out today. I have to. So I, I, so I'm just walking in the rain and thanking the Lord. One hour, two hour. Uh, he says to me, uh, no planes are coming. I said, mine is. Mine is. I didn't say that arrogant or, or proud, nothing like that. He said, well, let's call that the A plan. If God doesn't answer your prayer, what would be your B plan? I said, my B plan is my A plan. I'm putting all my eggs in the same basket. One hour later, I hear the motor. Here comes the plane with only two seats. I said to my friend, see you later. Um, scary faith. Yeah, you've heard God. A woman that we know a little bit said, please come over and bless my grandson. This lady, she had a good heart, but her face isn't saved. This is her idea of joy. So she said, she's got money. She's a good lady. And so she wanted some kind of blessing, prophecy over her kid. And I had nothing, nothing for that kid. But I, said, I, but I said, I got something for your husband. Ooh, I, I don't know that guy. I said, he's going to be saved in a very short time. She looked at me like, again, from the moon. For 21 years, he has resisted God big time, big time. 21. Four days later, the guy gets up from bed and says, I want to get saved. Met with a pastor, got saved, is in the church. Yeah, so again, that woman, she did not exactly a picture of faith for me. Scary faith. Sometimes we need scary faith with prayer. With prayer. Great Chinese apostle, Watchman Nee. No, Watchman Nee, He brought a young convert to the high mountains area. And everybody there are unbelieving farmers. Uh, and there had been no rain for nine months. So they preached and they did this and that and nobody have interest. Scary faith. The, the boy prays this prayer. Because these farmers don't believe. God, would you make it rain right now and break the drought? Watch me thought, why did he go and say something like that? 
I should never have given that opportunity. Uh. Yeah. Crazy. In 30 minutes, it was rainstorm. Majority of those farmers come to Christ. Scary witnessing. Scary witnessing. I'm sorry, scary faith witnessing. Got in a grab taxi recently. Grab taxi. I don't speak Vietnamese. I'm a bad missionary. But, but I got her. Hallelujah. So I, when I got in the taxi, I said, hey, how are you? And in about three minutes, man, I felt the power of God. And, and man, I started talking the gospel to him. And this never happened to me before. Driving through a city of 12 million people. This, 20, this 26 year old guy is crying like a baby, trying to drive. He starts repenting of this and repenting of that. He is not a Christian anyway. Leading him to Jesus was like taking candy from a baby. The guy was so hungry, hungry, hungry. Again, he just looked like ordinary guy. God says there's somebody there. How's your faith? When's the last time you took a legitimate risk? Maybe it's been a while. I'm here to encourage, not discourage. Again, faith comes by hearing. We're seeing something from the Lord. But then we have to walk it out. Yeah, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. God, you would release fresh faith in this congregation tonight. The, the, the real deal, Lord. The real deal, Lord. God, God, would you send a fresh fire in our spirit, fresh fire in our life, Lord? Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Man, if you need something from the Lord, would you stand? If you need some faith in the Lord, would you please stand? Would you call upon the Lord? Would you call upon the Lord? Oh, hallelujah, Lord. God, hallelujah. Make us a risk taker. Lead him. Lead him in a risk taking prayer. Yeah. Get to ไม่ได้ยามยอมไม่ได้ยินดีเจมิโอเปบาซอซาจินเนยูจิเจมิโอเปบาโอ้ยเนยตะเนเนยามยอมไม่ได้ตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะต
Change the way we witness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. You are a God of faith. You honor faith, faith honors you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please have a set. A long time now. Yeah, I believe in the next week. Not about change, you know, yeah, there's going to be some, some, some changes happening in some people. Yeah, God's going to remove some comfort. He's going to agitate some of us. Saying the best is yet ahead. He's the best. Hope these words encourage you. Can we give God a clap offering? Hallelujah.